comes to mind when you hear self-driving 18-wheelers? Is it fear? Is it safety? Maybe a little bit of both? Well, both are top of mind for many in North Texas. A company in Ellis County has been testing the technology for years. And our J.D. Miles joins us live from Dallas. And uh, J.D., when can we expect these robo-trucks on the road? And what concerns do they haul? Well, they're on the road right now. In fact, on I-45, I-20, you may see them, but they've got two-man crews in the cab ready to take over if the truck makes mistakes. But fully autonomous, empty 18-wheelers will soon be on the roads between DFW, Houston, and El Paso by the end of the year. You know, we would always say that trucking is not a job, it's a lifestyle. For nearly 30 years, Chris Goldsby and his big rig have shared a lot of time and miles. It's just a, a personal relationship you have with it because you spend more time, in essence, you spend more time in your truck than you do you know, with your family, especially as an over-the-road trucker. Goldsby knows that self-driving trucks are already beside him on some of the highways he travels and could soon make his job obsolete. It, it would be kind of lose some of the personality, the per, you know, personable things that come with that. Because, you know, I go in, I actually talk with the shipper. I actually talk with the receiver. He's also not convinced they will be as safe without a veteran driver behind the wheel. You know, I'm, I'm at the point to where I drive so much, I can look ahead and I can almost anticipate what the driver in front of me is going to do. Like, I can tell, you know, if they're driving, if they come up on my, my mirror and they're driving erratically, I know I need to automatically back off just because they're going to be, they're going to do something that may put us, put us in danger. Our family should not be the guinea pigs for deciding if this technology works or doesn't work. Amy Witherite has been publicly critical of the state for giving the green light to self-driving long haulers. She's a Dallas lawyer who specializes in vehicle accidents. But if you have any inclement weather, we have no testing to prove that these huge tractor trailers can adjust. Witherite points to several accidents during test runs, including this minor one last year in Ellis County. We've all had computer glitches on our phones, on our, our computers. If there's a glitch in this software, we're all going to pay the price. A recent survey by AAA found that most drivers have their own doubts, with 66% afraid of self-driving vehicles and only 9% who trust the technology. Chris Goldsby doesn't believe the roads are ready for what's coming. Now we're talking about an 80,000 pound vehicle. If that thing has an accident, it's going to be a lot more damage. So the question is, what do these companies that are building and testing these autonomous big rigs have to say about these concerns? We'll talk to the president of one of these trucking companies about safety. We'll even take a ride on one coming up tonight at 10 on CBS News Texas.